Hello, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Nandini. I am not the biggest fan of New Year resolutions. I usually begin as soon as possible and I don't really wait for a special occasion. But what the hell, now on New Year's, you can begin whenever you wish to. Today, I'm going to put forward some New Year resolution ideas, most of which I am already following and some of them I'm going to be modifying in the coming days. You can make use of these ideas, modify them as per your requirements and begin your new year in the best possible way. They don't necessarily need to be goals. They could be tiny habits that lead you to a bigger goal. I personally believe that we got to try to set systems rather than just goals. This way we can work on ourselves every single day and we won't even realize how far we've come till we actually look back. Working out is everyone's new year resolution every single year. So I decided to bring this up first. And considering what we have gone through in the past two years, this is a must. I plan to work out four, five times a week in the coming year. Actually, I've already begun. You can decide to go to the gym or do some yoga or dance maybe if that's what you like. If not, you can work out at home just like I do. All that matters is that you move your body. If you own a fitness band, you can decide to complete a certain number of steps every single day. Another thing you can change is always take the stairs whenever possible or even morning walks. You should go for whatever suits you best. It's not an option because our health should be our first priority. Sugar is one of the biggest problems in today's world. We all must reduce our sugar intake, however young we may be. You could try a 30-day no-sugar challenge, which is difficult but not impossible. You could also take up simpler challenges like not having cold drinks, hot drinks, or even packaged juices. Another is avoiding fast foods completely. I stopped cold drinks, juices some years ago. I have also replaced my sugar with jaggery and I wish to reduce my jaggery intake this year. At some point of my life, I want to reach that stage where I do not need any sweetness at all. Simply making your bed in the morning makes you feel a sense of accomplishment the minute you wake up. Who does not want to start their day positively? I started this 10 minute cleaning routine earlier this year, but I have not been consistent. I start a 10 minute timer and do some cleaning for just 10 minutes in the morning before I begin with work. I want to make it a part of my daily routine in the coming year. You will always see me with a sling bag wherever I go. What's in it? My water bottle. This is not only to keep you hydrated throughout the day, but if you have any spicy food, you'll have your water to save your day. If you have the habit of craving snacks at night, then this tip will come handy. Once you brush your teeth, you'll find it less likely to snack on something. This is really helpful for our overall wellness, but it's really not easy to stay away from your phone or any sort of technology for a couple of hours before bed. Currently, my no technology time is about 30 minutes before I go to bed. I read a book for a while and then go to sleep. I'm hoping to make it a one hour, no technology zone soon. Meditation and breathing exercises have loads of benefits. Some of them are, they help manage stress and anxiety, they help being mindful, increases patience and imagination, also regulates mood. I plan to give at least 15 to 20 minutes daily as part of my self-care routine. I love art. I would be an artist if not a chess trainer. It's so soothing and satisfying. I would love to make it a habit to make at least one artwork every week. You can decide to cook a new dish every week or month to whatever interests you. You may also start a new hobby if that is what you want. We usually feel that we do not spend too much time online or on social media until we check our stats. You can check your screen time stats on your phone and figure out where you got to improve. You can set app time limits for the same. If you're someone who spends a lot of time watching television, then you should definitely reduce it. 
In the same time, you could do something more productive. For example, you could learn something new, pursue your hobby, spend time with family, do some self-care activity, or even just read a book. Let me put forward a funny and smart quote regarding television. I find television very educating. Every time somebody turns on the set, I go to the other room and read a book. A very useful tip to read more is to keep a book at your bedside. This will help you build the habit of reading for a while before going to bed and it also helps with keeping yourself away from social media or watching television. I plan to read at least one book a month with notes in the coming year. Journaling is like talking to a friend and keeping it a secret. If you have close friends to talk to, then that's lovely. But not everyone has someone to talk to all the time and that's where journaling helps. You can journal regardless of whichever category you fall in. Regular journaling of daily activities helps you understand your emotion and yourself better. I prefer doing it digitally over writing in a physical book. If it's not something of your liking, you can always have just a gratitude journal or a health journal which are really helpful too. Not everybody is comfortable with regular journaling and that's all right. Reflecting is one part of it which ought to be done regardless if you journal or not. You cannot improve without reflection. Reflecting through your week or month will help you understand yourself better and will help you make the required changes. We all have bad habits of different kinds. For some, it may be alcohol or smoking. For others, it may be excessive coffee or TV or time on social media, or it could be anything much more simpler. Now, habits take a long time to build, so it's not easy to get rid of all kinds of habits in an instance. Some of them may take longer time and that's all right. But what we can do is we can work on gradually reducing the quantity so that we can eventually get rid of it. If we can be more mindful about our activities and our habits, we can definitely get rid of what is not required. If I have not mentioned any of your new year resolutions, I would love to know them. Please leave a comment down below. A simple tip of mine would be to set practical goals. It's usually easy to begin with something, but maintaining that habit for a longer period of time is usually what requires the most effort. For example, you can begin working out three to four times a week, but you have to keep fighting your urge to stop and eventually you will never want to stop. So always begin small, that's what gets you results. Considering the above example, you could begin with working out maybe two times a week. Begin with habits that are achievable and not beyond you at the moment. And you can slowly take yourself up that ladder. I hope this video brings you some motivation. So that's it from my side and I'll see you in the comments. Bye.